Why is it that most of us are terrible advisors, coaches, mentors, um, consolers, parents? Ah, terrible. Maybe that's not fair. Well-meaning. We want to help. We want to lead a life of purpose and meaning. We want to make the world a better place. All of the right reasons. We learned our communication skills and ways of helping, advising, coaching, mentoring from our parents, from our life, from watching examples. We've maybe read a lot of personal development books. We're great amateur psychologists. <laughs> um, pretend to be therapists. Um, or we took a coaching class that wasn't much more than doing live wheels and holding people accountable and ethics and the core competencies of absolute nonsense. Smarting goals, which has been proven to be completely ineffective. So, so why, why is it? What's falling flat here? I'll give you the number one reason in a second. The number two reason is we have not been trained to communicate. We've not been trained to communicate verbally or non-verbally. We're not trained in to build rapport. We're maybe trained in active listening. We're, we're not trained in how to talk someone off the ledge. We're not trained how to talk to someone who's emotional, demotivated, in pain, in fear. We're not taught how to build rapport. We're not taught effective communication strategies. We're not taught how to ask the, the right questions that cause the epiphanies that goes you that, that, that allows you to understand what really the problems are, what really your requirements and criteria for life are, what really is going on. We're not taught that. We're not taught the language of motivation, of intuition. We're not taught any communication. We're not taught to read eyes, what eye movements mean. We're not taught to read people in general. We don't know what to listen for when people run patterns in their mind that clearly display what their preferences are. We're not taught any of that. And so that's the number two reason, okay? So we have no methodology here. The number one reason is also we have no methodology there either. We don't know how to take someone through a step-by-step -step process in a conversation, in a single coaching session, how to change behavior with an underlying proven structure that has been repeatedly proven to work over and over and over and over. How do you change a behavior? How do you help sw someone switch from an emotional state? How do you help someone overcome a fear? How do you help someone overcome grief, shame, guilt, anxiety? What are the step-by-step -step sequences to step someone into the most powerful version of themselves? How can you tell how someone is thinking? How can you tell what someone's internal not working strategies are? How can you tell if some, how somebody's working strategies are? What's your sequence? What's your process? How do you find out? How do you structure a conversation on real expertise? That detective, that effective person. And time and again, I see people focusing on the wrong things. When I overhear motivational conversations, whether it's in a gym, locker room, I hear the wrong conversations that are having. We're not focusing on the right things. And that's what I think is so brilliant about NLP. Not just for coaches, for everyone. I teach NLP to everyone. It teaches that methodology. If you contact my back office, what you will get, if you ask for the syllabus, I will show you what I teach every single day. Not at a, not at a hotel at the airport or somewhere boring inside an office center or something like that. No, amazing locations on the beach in Mexico, LA, on the, in the rice paddies of, paddies of Bali, in Amsterdam, across from a park. Where do you learn how to do this online? I have 1,500 resources online where you can learn these communication skills, where you can learn these techniques. And you can find them at globalnoptraining.com backslash simply. And most of them are absolutely free of charge. So I would look at that. Because if you are a beginning coach, a person who really cares to be a great parent, advisor, mentor, helper, all of those different things, you have to have a real methodology. You cannot wing it. And so that is my uh, insight for 
today. See you around.